you're watching the unwinding of the coaxial rotary joint the dual ridge horn is being rotated back 360 degrees after taking the measurements at the transmitting end we are providing low loss cables as you can see which can be connected up to the instrument for taking down the measurements two dual ridge horns are being provided for use as standards while referring the gains or patterns of antenna under test two 10 feet coaxial cables are being provided with micro anechoic chambers two stepper motor controllers are provided for rotating the transmitting as well as receiving antennas in azimuth planes polarization adapters are provided to rotate the antenna in 90 degree polarization planes two stepper motor controlled antenna rotators are provided with rotary connectors for rotating the antenna under test deliberately taken a lot of precautions so as not to disturb the antenna pattern in its near field and for utilizing the anechoic chamber we used for a broader range of frequency from 1 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz the size of the cones limit the use of chamber at the lower frequency and but still about a gigahertz 1 gigahertz at the lower frequency and it's still possible with these size of the wedges the backing of the wedges with aluminium gives them perfect absorption and huge dynamic range the quiet zone in the chamber is roughly about two feet across these transmitter and receiver chambers are to be aligned to each other and kept facing each other once they are facing each other then no external signals from outside can come inside the receiver or the transmitter antennas we need to take care of the far field range when we are testing these antennas in case the far field zone is longer than what the size of these chambers permit then probably we need to keep them apart slightly more but by virtue of elimination of most of the reflections we hope that keeping them apart by a few feet would not alter the pattern of the antenna under test in any drastic way you can observe the kind of joints we have used to create the chamber these are for the easy servicing of the chamber easy dismantling or servicing of the chamber at the user site is possible the whole chamber walls can be pulled down and be dismantled for gaining entry into the labs in case the ingress to the lab is smaller then each of these walls can be pulled down by using allen keys and can be put together again at the site of antenna under test